shirts again. Okay. So, Old Kim, you're wearing one of the Never Never Land shirts? Yes. Uh, you know, as we, as we pointed out in the piece that didn't get the sound on, <laughs> you know, this is a prototype, and there, there's going to be many changes in this over the next few weeks. So, anyway, so check out more along the way at MontyBubbles.net on the internet, and you'll see the shirts as they progress. Obama, but for news... Obama would never have been elected if the Tribune had broke the story. They said that tr the Tribune basically only sprung the story because they didn't get any money in the bailout, and Zell is all pissed out of shape, so... Well, the Chicago Tribune, I mean, that's a major paper. Yeah, but they, they set on it. They knew it before the, they knew before the election date that the governor had major problems, and that they set on that. They, the reason they said they blew it was because they, they, they finally blew the whistle was he came after us. Um, That's not a good reason because if he was screwing everybody, he should have they should have done it. But they, you know, electing Obama was a primary concern because they thought they were going to get theirs. No matter how bad the economic news, the stock market keeps rising. Yeah, as, as one of the people read this morning, he, he said uh, one of the one of the non Fox people said that picture this headline. Asteroid about to hit Earth, mankind to be wiped off the face of the planet, stock market rises. Which she said is totally asinine, folks. House approves $14 billion auto bill, but it's still in peril. Yeah, Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, is going to vote against it. And they figure that most of the Republicans out of states where they have auto industry are going to vote against it. So it's a dead issue. Illinois governor ignores Obama's call to resign. Well, why should he? Because he, everything is in his ballpark now because he knows where the bodies are buried. That's how you stay in business in Illinois. U.S. executions and death sentences on decline report fines. Yeah, but well, they said it, it has more to do with the judicial system backed up with appeals than it does the actual decline of sentencing. Retail sales post big drop in November. Expect market to climb on news. Uh, we, we, they posted that this morning. The market went up on all-time bad, you know, sales records in the market climb. Again. Called an inversion program, folks. Chicago's workers vote to end sit-in at window and door factory. Yeah, the Bank of America granted the company loans, which basically they're never going to see a penny of. Study finds the web is important for team development. Yeah, and it's the people that run the web that found this. Mayors and governors want their part of the bailout now. Yeah, they want $200 billion today. Well, the state of California is being greatly affected by it. Yeah, it's going to, California's going broke, folks. Officials, Obama chooses Chu for energy secretary. Yeah, he's a, a, Nobel, uh, a Nobel Prize winner in physics. And basically, that's not exactly a person I would want to have in charge of the energy program because he's a physicist. Well, yeah, and Obama and the Democrats don't like those people. Well, why is he? Because he, he, he chose him, though. Because he's another member of the Clinton, Clinton administration. Mm. Dark Knight, Milk, jockey for Golden Globe nominations. Uh, and uh, Milk and Dark Knight both didn't do well. Suicide on TV condemned in Britain. Then they shouldn't have shown it. <laughs> I know. But remember that they will show almost anything on the uh, non on the channels that aren't owned by the government. Dow 500 has lost 22 percent of their value, but good for the economy. I, I love that one too. That the economy is actually going to be better because these people are losing their jobs, they're losing their businesses, and losing their homes. But that is good for the economy. I mean, you, you, I don't know where these guys are coming from, you know. Don't ask me. Pakistan under pressure over Islamic charity. Doesn't mean they'll do anything. De what? Oh, he's bringing up BS. Yes, That's right. Yes. <laughs> Day to calling gay finds few willing to strike. Because the whole idea was, that's why BS came out. The whole point of the of the be a gay Wednesday was to show the country how important that their gay people were and that we can we can shut this nation down in an instant. Well, no, because most, most of the people in the gay community don't want you to know they're gay. They're very happy oh. living their lives the way they are. Barack Obama should move quickly to try to resolve conflicts in the Middle East by pulling all troops out. 
Isn't that the solution for everything? That's it. That is his solution, is to pull all the troops. But see, he and, he and them are in total agreement. Pull all the troops out and we'll stop all the problems with the Muslim countries. They'll uh, kill all of us, of course. Yeah. yeah. I think that's kind of, I mean, that's no, the solution for one everything. One of the great plans is send money and experts, economic experts and Peace Corps workers to those countries where they hate us, and they'll fall in line with loving us. No, they'll no. kill all of them. They'll take the money, slaughter the Peace Corps workers because they're, they aren't Muslim. They, they don't care. No. They would happily take the money and agree to it. I mean, we'll put it this way. Somebody that's going to blow himself up to, to, take a, to take a few people out with him that aren't Muslims is not going to be influenced by you sending a Peace Corps worker over. Obama avoids stain of Chicago's political scandals. Do we have to say anything more than that? California to be broke by March. Yeah, they're cutting back on service. All you got to do is to look any direction on this beach and you don't see any lifeguard guys. Well, in fact, Schwarzenegger has been talking about... He's been telling them that they I were mean, going broke. Yeah. They wouldn't cut back on spending. The unions are demanding more money, so now the state's going to go broke. Anger and doubt aired in financial bailout hearing. <laughs> okay, let's put it this way. The American public doesn't want any of it to happen because they, they see the money that was supposed to go to help to free up money in the loan industry basically is going into the coffers of the banks because they, uh, they I heard this this morning, the banking industry said, you have to understand by law we have to have X amount of reserves in every bank and this money is going to, going to satisfy the, the requirements of the federal government. So once that has been satisfied, then we can start loaning. But so far, nobody's satisfied one requirement. So Barack Obama says he plans to deliver a major speech in an Islamic capital. Yeah. What? Uh, I mean, that's called, you know, well, but then he, he is Barack Hussein Obama, folks. I mean, I don't, I don't bother me that he's probably a Muslim. It's just if he would tell people he was instead of this nonsense. He sure sounds like, uh... I mean, he's probably going to go to the capital of the terrorist empire and make a speech, and they're going to cheer him, because the speech is going to do with pulling the Americans out of the Middle East. That would be my guess. Right. That you can guess, bet the bank on the fact that he's going to tell people he's going to pull the troops out. And my guess is when they deal with them, they'll talk with them, but they won't consider him a true Muslim, so whatever they say won't count anyway. First of all, they don't deal with half-breeds. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, no. He is beneath their contempt because he has a white mother and an Arab father. So then what happens? Uh, basically, they, they, uh, they, will be, they will treat him like they would a woman. What? Yeah, they have no desire to talk with Mr. Obama in those countries. Even though they said that they'd be willing to talk with him and all that? They were just wanting no, to get him elected. No, they're going to tell him what he's going to do. That's the difference. Oh, and they think he'll go along with that. They know he'll go along with it. Uh, they already know that Reed and Pelosi will, so yeah, whatever Reed and Pelosi wants, he's going to do. It's bad. Skirmish just broke out for six... Yeah, and you know what? I'm thinking about it, because Pelosi's female, yeah. right? Obama's half-Reed, and Reed is... He's an ass. It, <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> Well, anybody that, that... As far as they're concerned, none of them... Yeah, they're not going to deal with anybody. I mean, okay, they have total and absolute contempt for everyone in this country. So, except for them, right? This is what the Obama administration is going to be full of, folks. Mm. A Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, if you do the, uh, the expected, it's always the unexpected thing to do. <laughs>